good fan. Uh, uh, great fan, I don't, I don't care. Second of all, I'm also a looper and I need help. Okay. You, maybe give me some advice. Go for it. No, 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 jeez, this is how to explain right now. For me right now, it's, it's maybe like 1am. I, I was literally in bed, saw your stream, fucking stood up, I'm now sitting on my computer, like <laughs> in, in underpants and a shirt. I'm like, oh, hey. Respect. You know, I feel that. I, I've done that with like videos when they come out and shit. Yeah. What, what's wrong with your looper? What's up? Well, it's nothing wrong, it's just that I, I need a bit of help to try and find out uh, how to do it basically on my own or freestyle wise because like I'm seeing all the routines and maybe copying some but like I can't get to a full extent of where I can do it on my own and learn. So, what kind of one of my favorite lessons me? I've ever taught like when it comes to singing is the idea, mm -hmm. like singing is very situational and it's very related to looping for me where like I don't know what I'm doing when I'm singing, and I haven't been able to find someone that can teach me well enough that it, it exceeds my intelligence on it. So um, when it comes to singing, it's like you you just got to kind of make shit up, you know? And w when it comes to looping, it's kind of the same idea. Like one of my favorite ways to freestyle is like I'll find like a book that makes no fucking sense, you know? So like imagine you go on Amazon and you just pick a book and you start – reading it but you start singing that over a loop so like that's been one of my favorite ways to like see how i'm going to structure a routine or create one and it sounds really weird but it's like once you find a way to be completely free in your creation and like not trying to force yourself to make it like this or like that in terms of a routine you start to get this mindset of like oh it doesn't fucking matter i just have to have fun and then when i'm having fun i just remember that and then i take that and do it again right so like for me mm -hmm. that's that's how that's how I like to create. So, like, I'll show you right now. I'm gonna pull up Amazon, right? And I'm just gonna like name a book that you like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, name a book that you've read and you like and and stuff. Wait, me or who? yeah, you. Oh, jeez, because I'm from Germany. I have like German books. Fuck. Maybe I don't know, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, one okay. or two. Okay, that's know. what's up, dude. My little brother used to read that. Um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Okay, so I'm going to go to Diary of a Wimpy Kid, right? So when you're looping, do you have an RC-505? Yes, I do. Okay, so do you have everything set to free in terms of measures? Yes. Okay, so that's a really big way to start learning how to freestyle. Um, so are you a singer? Are you trying to sing with your looping? Well, not really since I'm like right now, a teen, 13 years old. Ah, I voice crack. Ah, no, I feel you, it just gets annoying. So, singing, yeah. but yeah. Okay, so I think singing is very like not even singing, but just learning how to go, you know, via like just learning to maybe put yourself over a beat will help you to like learn mm -hmm. melodies, right? So, like for you, you, beatbox for me real mm -hmm. quick. Let's see how good you are. Or not how good you are, yeah. but like. Okay, so you Imran K. Go a little bit more. Okay. Uh, okay, wait. So you could do, you could do, um, you can do, right? So you could do that on your loop station, right? So your loop station yeah, has a whole bunch of different effects, but I'm just going to do like guitar to bass, right? So imagine you want to do... Let's see. Right, so like, I'm gonna sing the first page of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, right? I have this melody, I have something that, it's really easy, you just hum a little melody and like, Monday, every day in my neighborhood is our Saturday. Enjoying the warm weather and sunshine. Everyone else except me. It's kind of hard to enjoy a heat wave when it's in the middle of a winter. People are just calling this wacky weather, but that doesn't feel right. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I think it should be cold in the winter and hot in the summer. I just sang the first page of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Jesus, the, the, fun, the funniest part is, I think, of that is it literally sounds like an actual song.
See, that's the thing. It's like, I'm like what? For me, when I when I when I have no mindset, like like my whole goal is like I don't want to be thinking about what I'm trying to create when it comes to like how I'm voicing it and speaking it when I'm freestyling. So if you mm -hmm. want to actually learn how to freestyle, you have to find this way to emotionally disconnect yourself from what you're trying to say. And when you do that, you start focusing mainly subconsciously on the melody of your words. And through that melody, you can find so many different ways to apply that to looping, you know, with a melody, like a melody would be like, right? So like you can put that in a song and then you can like create with that. For me, I do, when I'm, when I'm really just trying to focus on the melody, I'm doing like, hit it, bava. Like I'm doing all this weird, this weird, mm -hmm. like, you know, you ever watch my streams and I just go, hit it, bada, feed it, bava, bada, 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 bada. Right to me, that just that's the same thing as being able to create a melody without having to think about what I'm outputting mm -hmm. past just my voice as an instrument. So, that is, yeah. in my opinion, the best way to learn how to like start freestyling on a loop station. I know that sounds weird, and, and it's like you might mm -hmm. you, you might not understand that completely right now by how I'm saying it, but you want to find a way that you can push, um, like getting a melody out and then learning melody because that's the most important fucking thing, along with finding a way to like you know. You know, finding a way to know and understand like how to work between a voice. So like, see that? Like, I'm able to take. I'm. I'm like, like you want to start freestyling with your voice. You ever like see people and they play like a guitar riff with like the, like some chords over it, and then they just sit there yeah. and they noodle on their guitar. But then out of that mm -hmm. noodling, like that noodling is where you where you find like something you might like, you know. So I think you need mm -hmm. to start noodling, and this is sound weird. This is a weird little metaphor, my guy, but um, noodling with your voice. If that makes sense. I mean, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does kind of sound weird, but I think I think yeah, that's the it. best way to learn how to freestyle, man. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm gonna ditch, but it was nice to meet you, Philip. I hope you have a nice yeah. night. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Thanks, you too. Yeah, no worries, dude. Good luck.